Hey, Bayek, it's me, Ian. And in today's video, I'm going to look at this film. It is, yes, Malignant from 2021. Now, um, I think it should have had a 2020 release, but um, because of the pandemic, um, it was put back. And also, it had quite limited release in the cinema as well. Um, it actually cost 40 million budget to make, which is quite a bit. Um, and its box office return was 34.9 million. So it, it did have a, a loss really. Um, but I think probably it's made it up a lot since with streaming going on to physical uh, media. Um, I think it's been quite popular on there. Um, so uh, when you look at the critics as well, I was surprised. But, um, it's actually got 76% on Rotten Tomatoes. So 76% isn't actually too bad because some of the uh, things that were written about it, particularly at the time, I think maybe people have reassessed, were not very flattering at all about this film. And I've heard it, I've heard other reviewers complain particularly about certain aspects of this film. But uh, anyhow, we might just delve into that a little bit later. But um, I think the important thing to say as well is it's 111 minutes long. So um, it, it's a good length. It's not too long. It doesn't feel like that. When you're watching it, you get right into the film and... Um, there's no issue at all there. It's, it's it's a great film. The way they use up the uh, time involved. Um, everything is good. It never feels dragged out or anything like that. Um, so it's a good film in that sense, you know. But the important thing, it's director. It's director is the wonderful James Wan. James Wan, well, he started with, as you know, the Saw film which is just an amazing film um and then he went on um into the um insidious franchise the conjuring franchise all these films he's been involved in he's a great director and writer as well um, um also there's um uh, i was i was interested i didn't realize that he was he directed aquaman as well and he's going to be um involved i think in direction of the new aquaman which should be coming out aquaman and the lost kingdom in 2023 um so it was really good to see him in back to some extent in this kind of horror film which he did so uh, that that is a really interesting aspect uh, to the film um the screenplay was written by ala Cooper, but I think he had quite an influence as well as a writer and his wife on the actual script as well. Uh, so that's important. Now, let's say it stars Annabella Wallace, who plays Madison or Emily, depends which uh, part of the film you're looking at. Um, also, a sister, Sydney, is played by Maddie Hassan. Now, the other two important parts in the film are played by, let's see, George Young, he uh, plays the detective Shaw, and then uh, Michael Briani White plays Detective Moss. And I actually think they're quite a good combination as characters in the film. They had a certain, I don't know, almost comedy sometimes element, but with that a seriousness as well. And I quite like their combination. Just adds, you know, in the film script, which is really good. So he's saying, hey, what's it all about then? Hey, well, basically it the story is of Madison and she's in an abusive relationship. And also, uh, she's pregnant as well. Um, and it turns out she's had a few miscarriages as well. 
and so she's not in a good place and what happens is that um she ends up banging her head really badly and um a husband um he well it it, it he's murdered basically and <laughs> something is going on it's not very clear but there's something a presence or something in the house um and this is pretty vengeful and he gets it basically now what happens then is she starts she has these visions and the visions um turn out to be seeing people being killed at first it's not very clear to her but they t it turns out these people are in real time real life people and she's seeing what's going on and that's how the premise of the film gets into it. and also a relationship with her sister um sydney who she tells that um she's actually adopted and from that revelation, they start to build up about the connections with what is actually happening. I'm not going to give away the story, um, but it's from that. And the two detectives then become involved and we start to get looking through their investigation as well about what is actually going on and how everything starts to connect together and why all these events are happening. Now, I know near the, um, fairly near the end, um, the revelation comes about what has actually happened because there's um, an opening sequence, which is, uh, I think is going back quite a few years into the um, early nineties, as I remember this doctor. And we realize how this, fits in with what um is been happening um that all comes together um i know some people think it oh, it's a bit silly that uh, I've, I've heard him say no it's not silly it's perfectly it fits in perfectly well I, I i like the idea i think it's a great clever idea and um it really adds to the film i think you know the film is beautifully directed again. It has all the camera angles and shocks and wonderful developments of the characters. I love it. I think this is a quality film. It really is a quality film and we should um, really applaud it for that because it's another modern day horror film which shows that the genre can still thrive and develop and be interesting and exciting i mean the director is interested in um, one he says he was influenced um by giallo um films you know argento tenebrae phenomena trauma he's mentioned in interviews so argento and i can see that now you can see it in the way so with the investigation with the kind of uh gore if you want to say um that happens in the film the murders you know how they are portrayed it's, it's just really beautifully done it really is i think it, it's, it's great it's a great film um so when you look at the film you see that um well it the, if you look right back to saw you can see how he's developed. He was always good. And this film is just another aspect of how he's developed as a director. And uh, it has to be applauded, you know. Um, you're always excited to know that I wish you would do more of these kind of films because they're just, they're just really good. I mean, you could even perhaps get development uh in this film you could there may be room to look at other areas in this film because some of the concepts he's bringing up are very interesting ideas um i'd love to see that um wouldn't that be great if we could have sort of a development um in that area um 
So what I'm saying is, if you haven't seen this film and you enjoy um, his work, you have done, as well as Saw, um, then I would recommend you watch this. And if you haven't seen any of his work, well, come and watch this and then you'll get us a, a taste of what he what he can do as a director and um it, it works so well that's all I, really i can say about this that um it's so enjoyable and i rate it and you can watch it again you may know the twists but well it's a it's a real joy to watch so entertaining and i absolutely love it and i've been lucky to get this um i got this for um a tenner uh, 4K. Um, okay, it's not not a plus uh, the slip cover, but hey, so what? It's the two discs. It's got the extras on the Blu-ray. 4K pictures, fantastic. I was watching it and thinking, well, this looks absolutely tremendous. It it really does look good. Um, what more can you ask for? So I'm I'm really pleased getting it a bargain. Um, goes into my collection beautifully, and I'm really happy. Um, well, you can't say fairer than that, can you? Hey, yeah, yeah. So you know, just just enjoy your films and don't worry too much about what you know. I don't know slip covers and things like that. If you can get them for bargains, that's really good, especially nowadays. You know how things are. So yeah, I'm really really pleased and um. That's it, really. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've been rambling on about. Hey, bye. So, all I'm going to say is, if you're interested, subscribe and we'll let you know when I put out these videos, you know. And then, if you really like this one, yeah, please give it a like. Just give it a like. It'd be fantastic. And it costs note. Which, again, I mean, nowadays, it costs note. But what can you say about that? So all I've got to say is, I'll see thee, and I'll see thee again.